here's how you can get, get a full sense of the scale. There's everything with the dressers, including the organizers right there, and all the screws in the box, and a kitty walking across everything. But like the, those three, I believe, are the bottoms of the drawers, along with you don't want to step on it. They're good. These two, and and then this piece right here is the middle. Oops, sorry, I forgot the video. That's the middle of the dresser. Those two on the bottom are the sides where Phoebe's currently walking on. I'm guessing those two back there are the back. Uh, these are the front of each dresser. And then I'm not exactly sure what these two pieces are the same on each side. Let's see? Um, something inside the dresser. The, this long, thin piece. I'm guessing that's the goes on the bottom underneath all the drawers in the front. There's the sides over there. And not. As you can see, there's six of them. Wait, one, two, one, two, three. That's right, that's two. That's only um, three dressers, three drawers. I guess maybe maybe two of them are smaller than the rest. Or missing pieces. <laughs> but hopefully it's not the case. And then there's um, four smaller ones, actually six that Phoebe's sitting on. So that makes another, another three. So I don't know, maybe two are smaller than the other. Or three are smaller than the rest. We'll find as we put together, and that's pretty much it. Uh, other than on t taking out the dividers out of their boxes, oh, sorry, out of their bags, and, and sorting out the screws, this is all what it looks like. All one piece. It takes up pretty much all the floor space in my room, and the kitties are having a field day. And I'm going to carefully put this all up without stepping on any piece. Actually, I found more. I forgot that I put some pieces under here. So this is... So the big, the six big ones that Haley is gonna lay on, those are the back of the dressers, and then these twelve pieces. As you, as you can see, there's um, there's eight right here where Baby's currently walking over or was, and Haley's legs are. And then there's four back there. Those are the sides of the dressers, and then here are the rail runners. As you can see, there's six of them. So it wasn't completely everything, but I don't think everything within this room. And I don't feel like going into the larger room and laying it all out again when I can just be putting it together. <laughs> so, these are the missing pieces. Just gonna get a quick photo. Oh, there we go. Now you can see everything. Cat free. Take a quick shot because who knows, who knows who knows how long it's gonna stay like that. See, that was quick. So, these are the remaining pieces of the dresser that weren't shown before. Well, plus the ones. Some of those already were there. But that's it. I'm going to read the manual and get started. I'm keeping the various pieces I'm using to put them together. So there's two smaller bowls for the lesser stuff, and then bigger bowls for the stuff that there's a lot of pieces for. And I'm just grabbing them as I need them. And there's the cameras recording all the action, or most of it. There's, the batteries are dead, so they're charging, but this is what we have so far. I am proceeding to step seven. Kitty's not included. And we're like, haha, ha, it's so funny, forget to laugh. Let's get a picture, snap a picture. Ooh, yeah, it's because you're so pretty in the golden sunlight. And we'll continue our little way to assembling the dresser. Steps 9 and most of 10. Uh, but it's just, it, here's like an example of like how we, why you have to like look carefully at the diagram. But just finish, take 2. Just finish steps 8 and 9. As, well, steps 9 and most of 10, as you can see, it's going to put them on the side, but here's why, one of the reasons why I have to look, look carefully at the diagrams and why they don't need words or instructions. As you can see, like, it's telling you to put these boards together, and they want you to put it with the railing, with the, the little um, wheels, the door dresser wheels on the inside. They want you to have the, the wheels on the inside, which we do, as you can see. Uh, on the, the top one, see, that, which, as we did, but as you notice, you notice the pieces look kind of uh, identical. How way you can tell is the top is the top parts have these big notches, see, and that's how you know which way is it, which where where you're supposed to put them. Because if you let's say if you had them upside down, this this top screw would have been over here, and it, it was it would, it would have been in the wrong place. So that's how you can tell. Just by looking at the diagrams, like what you're supposed to do. It's not like easy. I think most people could do it for themselves. It's not that hard. It just takes some time and patience.
trying to put these pieces into this part. Finish with 13 and most of 14. I think I need two. This is where you need two people. So, as you can see, it just pops right up on that. Okay, I'm going to try it myself really quick. And if not, I'm going to go call somebody as I'm home alone. You want to help me, peeps? is complete and doing 16 kind of comes with these little um, plastic things I guess just to uh, make it easier to slide across the carpet you see they just go in just like this on the, on the very bottom and there's six of them um, we put half of them in um, let's give them a little snack here with the hammer and make sure they're in all the way So they look like dressers, aren't they? And hopefully those piles of wood will start looking like drawers. Okay. I just finished step 22, hammering all around the perimeter, but not these two insides. I don't know why. I'm going to check again, but there you go. You can see all the nails shining in the light. It's oh, I guess that's to uh, pass it to the wall. And then it's just the dressers now. Stretch. I need to make the dress the drawers now. It's really hard to tell, but see, it's wider than the two drawer, two uh, shelves. But the shelves are about an inch, maybe an inch and a half taller. It's black and it's getting dark. See, I'm not much daylight left. I have every light in the room on, so you can get a, somewhat of a look. There we go. Turn on the light on the camera on the phone. So I can light stuff up a bit. Remember, once again, Katie's not included. But there you can see how it's a little bit longer than the two shelves. But about an inch, maybe an inch and a half shorter. Not much of a difference. So this is what it looks like when you completed the dresser part. And now all I need is the drawers. Nice. Finished the first two drawers. And I'm going to finish this third one. So I'm doing a quick montage, as you can see, see over there. So a little montage. I'm making a montage. Uh, the, the, I just stopped in the middle of finishing the third drawer to show what's going on. See, with the key, there's, I want you to make a hole. So what I do, they, I, you level this with the iPhone. Level, so you want you to make a hole right here. And that's hard to see, but there's no hole and there's no indicator. So what I do is I use the, uh, the iPhone level app, and I put the iPhone right here on the bar, and I level it out, and then I hit it with a hammer and, and a nail in there, and hold it like it about halfway in, and I pull out the nail, and I put in the screw, and then I'm done with the drawer. <laughs>
looks like completely finished and with a new room room rearrangement. The TV used to be here, it's now here. The dresser that was right here is over here. The desk that was right here is now right here. The bed is kind of the same place, it's just been rotated 90 degrees that way. And then the bookshelves that used to hold up the, the TV are right here and right here. And there is no room for the other chairs. You know, it's a beautiful chair that the cat's been tearing for, what, almost 20 years? Wow. There's no room for it. Well, it could technically fit it right here, but it would get away with a closet door. Um, I was able to squeeze the other chair in, as you can see. It still has some of the stuff that I need to find a place for. Uh, but, kind of regretting it. Because, there's a little, there's some design flaws. Um, notice the connect. Notice how connect, how close the connect is to the bed. Notice that you can no longer play connect. Because it's so close to the bed. That's one. The other one is, see how close the desk is to the light switch? Let's either do that. See, to fit the chair in, I had to move this over. And then there's a outlet right here for the laptop. And it's hard to see, but that's where the blinking lights are. So I had to move the desk as close as possible to the light switch. And this is a Phoebe. Um, hey, Phoebe. I have to move the, move the desk close to the light switch as possible to to it with the, 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 what do you call it, the, the leg? Wouldn't block the outlet. Um, another thing is, like I said, you can't fit the other chair, which is kind of a downplay, so that's like three. Um, I can't remember all the other ones, but I kind of don't like it. Oh, like being right all the way over here. See where the cable box is? When I usually here at the desk, I have to, I have to stretch my arm out like, like like this to use the cable box, and it's really inconvenient. So another thing is, this this speaker cannot be hooked up to the sound system that's way over there. I think it, uh, and not about bringing it back over here, but it's still not enough. Like the cable's still not long enough. Um, so I. So I think I am going to arrange, rearrange the room one more time. I'm going to... So yeah, that's what it looks like. Here is revision two, or the third layout. TV is against this wall. I guess the bed. Yeah, the bed was there originally on that, along that wall. And then um, the chair's right there in the corner. So the desk is where the dresser was originally. And the bed surprisingly fits right here, just barely. I slept with it last night, but I didn't realize how big my bed is. I think that's the main problem. And then the dresser's over here where the desk originally was. Um, this is a lot better than the last revision. Just because there's a lot more room between the connects and the bed. But look, I just don't like how the, there's just enough room to open the closet door and the entry door. It's just weird having like these long corridors, and I see the the desk blocks. I said the chair blocks the entry right here, so the the desk. Um, another thing is there's no place for me to put my phone to charge and uh, make glasses with any easy reach at night. As you can see, it barely fits. I was thinking about like putting like, a little table right here, but I just don't see this working out either. So one more attempt. I am going to put the bed in that corner right there. Let's see how it looks. Slide the desk over a bit. Put the dresser back in as well. The TV and the new dresser back in the original position and leave the dresser and the desk pretty much where they are. Just they maybe, maybe slide them further away from bed. Well, I'm not sure yet. I really want to get the dresser away from the window, as you can see. So, yep, there's a second revision. Third time's a charm. 
a week later, and this is all stuff with the dressers. One of the box of dressers came in. That's pretty much it.